Oh yeah, good evening viewers. So um, today we're going to be uh, modifying a Sega Dreamcast for region mod. Um, and it's simply a wire you install in a 12 volt point and tie it to one side of resistor 512 in the system. Um, I'll be doing it a little bit differently. I'll be actually putting a switch so I can um, disable the um, mod, so to speak. Um, because you can actually screw the system up if you're not careful. Um, and this mod uses a disc as well um, to uh, do the mod. So once you have the wiring, you use the disc, change the region, save it, turn the system off, turn it on, and uh, you'll have a uh, new Dreamcast. So to commence opening it, um, you've got to pull the modem out. And there's a screw here, screw in here, screw in here, and a screw in here. So uh, let's go and pull them up, them out, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like under the hood. Okay, so now that the uh, screws are removed, um, which are here, 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 and uh, up here, the top cover comes off. And be careful you don't drop the screws. Uh, next part is very important. The GD-ROM has different size screws to the rest of everything. And there's one in here one down in there and there's also another up the back in here as well so you've got to be careful um, to make sure that they don't get uh, lost and put back in the wrong spot um, I've had this unit open before and be careful not to wreck this drive they're a custom drive by Yamaha so yeah be careful of that so be careful of the caps and things here on the power supply but it's relatively safe and um, there's your on off there's also a fan you might want to clean the fan out while you've got it open as well and basically once the GD-ROM's out you've got a screw here a screw here um, screws along here there's another one here and you've also got uh, a couple here this, this assembly will need to be removed as it all comes out as one the first thing you've got to do is remove the power supply because that's on top so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll catch you guys soon okay well the uh, power board's been removed there um, just take note of that little connection there you just pull it it's just one of those conventional push pins and take note there's a sheet of plastic here make sure that goes back in when you've finished otherwise um, you're going to have problems with stuff shorting out against the um, earthing so there's the screws to the GD-ROM that'll be the next part we will remove and make sure the screws stay with that because they're different so we'll go ahead and pull that out okay so there's the GD-ROM removed and it's just simply that's hardwired on so don't worry about any fancy ribbons now it comes a trickier part this ribbon cable here I'll just flip the system around is quite delicate so I, I recommend leaving it, leaving it in the controller board and pulling it out the main board and while you've got it open you might want to change this battery here too and sometimes this component here can can blow as well which can result in things not working but mine's okay I've checked it and serviced it already before so there's a screw here screw here screw here screw here and undo the two screws at the side of the fan as well and then this whole assembly will come out make sure you pull this ribbon out so that just pulls out be gentle like that so I'll go ahead and pull that out. Okay, so uh, in attempts when pulling this out, um, a solder joint's gone dry obviously over time, and this one here is snapped, which holds that battery in. So before I put the system back together, I've got to remember to re-solder that in, otherwise we're going to have problems. So I will remember to do that. Now the controller module board is out, there's the screws for it, just keep them all in the general vicinity. We've got to remove this RF shielding. Now it's easy. Around the edge, you'll see there's black screws, black screws. Take note, this screw's silver. Black screws here. Let's turn it around. Black screws here, 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 here. So pretty much just all around the edge, you'll see screws along this side. They're silver or gold or whatever color they are. So just remember that. Once that's off, we'll show you the motherboard. 
Okay, so now I've got the motherboard out, and um, this is the top, obviously. Be very careful of these connectors here, um, up the top. They're very, very, very annoying if you snap them. I've had to repair one before in the past, and it wasn't easy. You really need proper devices to do it. Um, so we're flipping over now. Now flip it over to so the front, or the back of the board. Well, the front of the board goes to the back, but the back of the board faces the front. So you've got the power pole connectors to the top left facing away. Now there are two places we have to short. Resistor 512, which is down here. Now this camera is hopeless, so I'll upload um, some high quality photos of where you've got to go after. And you've got uh, plus 12 volt up here. So you just need a wire between those two points. And you're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is... I've got a little switch here. Um, so I'm just going to solder to an outside leg and a middle leg. And that way the mod's either on or off. And that way um, I don't have any accidental um, rewriting because some games can rewrite to the internal memory thus damaging the original stuff that's on there but we'll run through that after so looks like it's now time to um, get the soldering iron out and fire it up first thing I'll do is I'll repair this battery um, that I damaged earlier um, while pulling this board out so we'll do that first and uh, then we'll get on with this uh, this mod here okay so switch is wired up again this is blurry so I'll take some photos of this and the way I wire switches up is I just hook the wire over twist it obviously tin it hook it over and solder it to the switch and the other end red will be my 12 volt that's tinned and black will be the, the uh, part where I solder it in uh, this wire is probably a little bit too thick but I, I think it'll be alright so we'll see how we go alright so let's commence with uh, popping it in. Oh, and I've prepared this joint too. It took about two seconds. So uh, let's commence putting it in. Okay, and there we are, mod done. One side of 512, 12 volt up there. That looks a bit ugly, but it'll be all right. These wires are probably a bit too long, so we'll have to reassess it and see how it goes back together. But uh, time to reassemble the system. I won't go through that. Just do the reverse of what I did to pull it apart. So um, that's it. We'll give it a try afterwards on the uh, big screen. Cheers all. Okay, and uh, there we go. I've topped the mod off with a couple of green wires. So the mods actually come out here. And I put a couple of green wires just to give me plenty of flexibility as to where I can mount them. I originally had the switch on the end, but it was touching this heat guard here on the power supply. And that would have been bad news. So I think it's all back together. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, finish off the mod tomorrow. So this is part one of the video complete and part two will show you uh, how to use the CD and how to use the actual mod so cheers guys and uh, good evening to uh, all my viewers HTXFH and uh, Aussie50 and uh, V8 Jagnut Matty VT93 and um, I'm sure there are others there so, uh, yeah, g'day to all you guys as well, and hopefully you had a good Australia Day. Cheers. Up.